One of the best-loved classics in American literature is the novel Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Published in 1868, Little Women is the sentimental tale of the lives of the four Marsh sisters living in New England during the Civil War, Meg, Joe, Amy, and Beth. The book, based on the lives of Louisa May Alcott's real family, was an instant success and guaranteed Alcott fame and financial security for the rest of her life. But the road to that success was long and difficult. Born in 1832, Louisa May was the second of four daughters of Bronson and Abigail Alcott. The Alcotts were well-known abolitionists with radical ideas of racial equality and well-known transcendentalists. Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau were family friends. Bronson was also a well-known educator who championed his ideas on speaking tours that earned him personal recognition but little to no income. The Alcotts suffered long periods of abject poverty and moved over 30 times until their friend, Emerson, bought the family a house, the Orchards, near his own in Concord, Massachusetts. Realizing that her father's romantic idealism would never support his family, Louisa May, who had dreams of becoming an actress, took on the role of provider and from the age of 16 worked a series of traditional female occupations to earn desperately needed money. During this time, Louisa May also began to write with a purpose. She sold stories under her own name and pseudonyms, everything from fairy tales to lurid thrillers. When the war between the states broke out in 1861, Louisa May became a nurse for the Union Army. From her experiences, she published the book Hospital Sketches to favorable acclaim. She also contacted typhoid fever and as a result, suffered from poor health for the rest of her life. At the urging of her editor, Thomas Niles, she wrote and published her famous book for girls, Little Women, in 1868. Many other books followed, the last being Joe's Boys in 1888. At the age of 56 and in failing health, Louisa May Alcott died in 1888. She is buried by her parents in the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery near her beloved Concord, Massachusetts.